If the Prime Minister does to the country what he's done to his party in the past 24 hours, I think a lot of people have a great deal to fear from his incompetence, his vacillation and his refusal to publish known facts that are known to him about the effects of a no-deal Brexit. Mr. Prime Speaker, Minister, I, I really don't see how, with a straight face, the right honourable gentleman uh, can accuse anybody of being unwilling to stand up to scrutiny when he will not agree. He will not agree to submit his surrender bill to the verdict of the people in an election. He's, fri- he's frightened. And, and Mr. Speaker, he, he makes a contrast. He makes a contrast between this government and his own proposals. The contrast could not be. The contrast could not be clearer. He thinks uh, we think that the friends of this country are to be found in Paris and in Berlin and in the White House and he thinks that they're in the Kremlin and in Tehran and in, and in, and, no, and in Caracas and I think he's Caracas uh, Mr Speaker he, we are putting, we're putting 20,000 police on the street we're upgrading 20 we have 20 new hospital upgrades we are growing the economy he by contrast would put a £300 billion tax on every company in the country. He wants a tax on homes and he's calling incessantly for a general strike. The Shadow Education Secretary Secretary says that their economic policy is, and I quote Mr Speaker, by your leave, shit or bust. I say, I say it's both. I say it's both, Mr Speaker. What this, what this country needs, what this country needs is sensible, moderate, progressive, conservative government and to take this country out of the EU on October the 31st and that is what we are going to deliver.